So you've heard from Ron about the formation of this amazing place here on Maumaku, Indian Island. And the weather has thrown us all sorts today, Ron. It really reflects how this whole place has been formed. Mm. Rain, hail, possibly even some sunshine shortly. And it's a really significant place in history, Ron. Mm. Well, this particular rock that we're standing on is, is significant for us here down south, for iwi Māori here, but I think it's significant for us all as New Zealanders. This was the place that Cook on his second voyage made contact with our whānau, with iwi Māori in this place. And Cook, when he was out hunting uh, over in what he called Duck Cove on the other side over here, was travelling back uh, to the harbour to where the boat was and one of our relations uh, stood on this very rock here and, and motioned him over, told him to come over and, and, and have a kōrero, yeah. Alright, so that kōrero, what, what happened after they had spoken that first time, made that connection? Well, it was really interesting because Cook, when he, when he came over being a second journey, he had a fair idea of how to, uh, how to, how to gift appropriately to the natives, how to make connections. So he actually gave a, a red hanky. Um, now, Maru, who was standing on the rock, he sort of looked at this because I, I like to think that he was watching Cook for a couple of weeks and saw what he was doing in this red hanky. He thought, oh, I don't know if I want that. Um, but um, when Cook came onto the rock, uh, he, he shook Maru's hand and according to the, to, to the logs, to the books, he pressed his nose, which was the custom. Um, and for me, that's a very important thing to be doing, to think that our ancestors, my ancestors that had been in this place for generations, on the first interaction with the ancestors from the other places, breathed together. They had that hongi, they, they took that breath in of this, this pure, clean Fjordland air. And in doing that, built that relationship that's lasting in this place that goes on even now. Yeah, and trying to learn how to share this place, not only with different peoples and cultures, but mm. sharing the environment as well. Oh, definitely. Um, when I think about sharing that breath, about breathing in deep here, breathing that clean, fresh, that pure air that, that contains the smell of the bush, that contains the, the taste of the ocean, that, that contains sometimes the sum of the stuff that falls out of the sky. But keeping this place clean and pure, keeping our breath clean and pure, um, that's what we're looking to do. That's, that's, I think, where we need to be going as New Zealanders. Mm, absolutely. Kia ora, Ron. Mm, kia ora.